Welcome to the Diagonalizing Matrices video tutorial. The following examples will show you how to determine if a matrix is diagonalizable and will also show you the steps to diagonalize a matrix. Example 1. Determine if the following matrix is diagonalizable. Let's first solve this problem by finding the eigenvectors of the matrix. We begin by constructing the matrix A. Step 1. In the matrix palette, which can be located on the left over here, select the dimensions rows 3, columns 3. Notice also that you can hold down the choose button and drag your mouse to select the dimensions of the matrix you are trying to construct. We want type as custom values, shape as any, and data type as any. Now click insert matrix. Step 2. Enter the given values in the matrix. So we take our values from the question over here. So we have 4. Notice that you can press the tab key to move to the next entry. Once you're done entering the values in the matrix, we want to find the eigenpairs of A. We do this by opening the context menu, so we right click over here, select eigenvalues, and then eigenvectors. Now we want to check if there are three linearly independent eigenvectors. Notice that the first vector's entries are the eigenvalues, so this vector over here contains the eigenvalues of A. Also notice that the matrix contains the corresponding eigenvectors. So the columns of this matrix are the eigenvectors that correspond to these eigenvalues. Now you want to check that if in the matrix there are no columns with all zero values, then A is diagonalizable. Or, if there is at least one column with all zero values, then A is not diagonalizable. So looking at our matrix, we can see that there is one column with all zero values. The column of all zeros means that for a particular eigenvalue, the dimension of the eigenspace is less than the algebraic multiplicity of the eigenvalue. So since our matrix contains a column of all zeros, it falls under the category B, and A is not diagonalizable. This concludes method one for example one. Now let us do example one again using a different method. Determine if the following matrix is diagonalizable. In this solution, we are going to reduce matrix A to Jordan form. First, let us construct the matrix A. Let us first type A colon equals, and then control and drag the matrix from the question. To do this, we select the matrix in the question, hold down the control key, and drag it into our equation. Now let us press the enter key. Then we are going to find the Jordan form of A. First we want to open the context menu, which we do by right clicking, and then we want to go to solvers and forms, and then Jordan form, and Jordan form. And then we want to check if there are three linearly independent eigenvectors. If the matrix in Jordan form is diagonal matrix, that is, all the entries aside from the entries on the main diagonal are zero, then A is diagonalizable. However, if the matrix A contains at least one one on its superdiagonal, which is the set of entries that are directly above the entries on the main diagonal, then A is not diagonalizable. So looking at the Jordan form of our matrix A, we can see that on the superdiagonal, there is a one. So our matrix A belongs to category B, and it is not diagonalizable. This concludes method two for example one. Example 2. Diagonalize the following matrix. Let us first construct the matrix A. Step 1. Type A colon equals. Step 2. Control and drag the matrix from the question. To do this, we want to select the matrix in our question. Hold down the control key and drag it into our equation. Step 3. Press the enter key. Then we are going to find the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of A. We do this by opening up the context menu, selecting eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Notice that the vectors entries are the eigenvalues of A and the matrix columns are the corresponding eigenvectors. Now let us construct the matrix P. Step one, open the context menu, select element and then two. Step two, open the context menu again, select assign to a name, enter P and click OK. Step three, in math mode, which we enter by clicking math over here at the top, we want to type in P and press the enter key. The matrix you just assigned should appear. And notice that here we have the matrix P. Now we want to construct the diagonal matrix D. In math mode, type D colon equals P inverse space A space P. You must put a space between each of the above letters to indicate matrix multiplication. Now press the enter key, and the resulting matrix is our diagonal matrix D. This concludes example two. 
Thank you for watching the Diagonalizing Matrices video tutorial.